Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Honkai Style Will. Without a ruler who will protect the weak and fight back against the tyrant, we must assist each other in protecting the weak just to must assist each other in opposing the tyrannical. Without a ruler who will make the story follow the path to tyrants to rise and fall and allow life to grow, these things then as they will long before the rule appeared, just as they will continue to do with the rulers gone. However, now that we have both able to our ruler, who shall take this place? Who will no longer call a ruler? For we will originally all rulers who stands above all things. Today we're going to end Sunday's mayhem. Oni chan! Why are you being such a bitch? Just why? Now we'll take you down today. That marked the seventh day. Oh my god! <laughs> Wabu is walking forward like she's on stage. That's hilarious. <laughs> the chatting for Robin. Yeah, that's right. Acknowledge me, you bitch. All of you, acknowledge me. Okay, let's keep walking forward. Oh, y'all see this, guys? Y'all see this? Oh, the Sunday. Hey, Sunday. Can't even talk about that. <laughs> Just standing there. That concludes everything related to the order. People in the background, you see what that? Are your reflections on this, my dear guests. Bullshit! Nevertheless, this is but a trivial blip in the annals of galactic history. What truly matters is the course this river shall take in the days to come. You've arrived at the perfect moment. The Charmony Festival is about to commence. And it would be a shame if you were absent for the Harmony's prologue. Allow me to extend my warmest welcome once more. Welcome to Penacony Theater. The very core of the sweet dream. The abode of the Stellaron. The grand stage of the Charmony Festival. And the very place where the future of Penacony shall be determined through conflict. Hmm. And the vapors for your schemes get smashed to smitherness. Your unwavering faith in the trailblaze is truly impressive. True goodness can only be achieved through faith. Allow me to point out that falling into a permanent slumber is not happiness. Especially exactly. when those people are driven by someone else's will in their sleep. Do you still believe that the Order only seeks to control the universe as their puppet, Himeko? No matter how perfect your vision of paradise may be, a cage remains a cage. People will never achieve true happiness in a world like that! They would just be toys for the Eon! <sighs> it seems you have misunderstood my intentions. My god, this guy's Allow evil. Me to clarify. My desire is not to resurrect a fallen eon, or become one myself. My sole objective is to create a paradise free from eons, where the Order ensures the dignity and happiness of all humanity. A paradise exclusive to us human beings. That's not the case. If people are to live with dignity, there must be nothing and no one above them. In your so-called paradise, you would be the one reigning supreme. <laughs> Looks like we won't be able to convince each other. Now that our conflict has been destined, let's unveil our paths and reveal to the universe the true path. However, before the prelude to the future begins, please take a moment to ponder the questions I've posed. Okay. Is darkness equal to daylight? Are sinners equal to the righteous? <laughs> if you are born weak, which god should you turn to for solace? Oh, we'll find those three first, huh? Okay. I see how it is, Robin. Oh, I mean, not Robin. <laughs> Sunday? All those three? Seriously? I mean, one middle and left side is more easy to beat than the other one, so someone's dead. Oh, you trying to make a weapon? You're attacking much already. Oh, good. Who is seeing toys now? Be oh, good. Not much. That's me, Robin, but I need the shield first. Right there, I 
give you a present! She woke up. I hope box me. Oh, won't know about you. That fucker! Come hey, on. this is a fire, you know. I could do this. Target specimen sighted. Beautiful. Um, the middle one has to be the like, more of a bench, so I could take that down. Or take those two down first. So let's yeah, check this one. Pickaxe, you'll die! I hope for an end to strife in the world. Go for middle, Bobbin. Okay. Hey. You have the worst luck running okay. into Give to Robin. Here? How can we lose? You're bunny. Gotta stop the bleeding. You can't run. Oh, you're trying to squeeze us, huh? Yeah, bundles D. No, attack the right one. Oh, okay, so you wouldn't matter which one to attack then. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Ugh. Left. Uh oh. Woke up for a nap. Wait, I'm awake. Okay, shield. Your idol. Double? That's unfair to do that. Come one, come on. Oh boy. You won't get away. Eh. Pick up, pick up. It's okay. Wake up! I mean, I don't necessarily need you yet. Quiet down. You won't get okay, away. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna do this first. Ooh, here we go. Nice. That's nice. Uh, okay. Let Shield yourself. Start singing. Tonight. Soul shall embrace tonight. The stars echo because of me. No more time. People may be that oh why the boss fights you can't see the whole thing. One at a time. Oh what? Get away. Oh shit! We got to the ventures then! So what happened? Perfect. Now's my chance. So what happened? What? Strike one by one! My turn. Strike huh? this one! Come Ooh, my heels going double on that one! Target specimen sighted. Preparing for collection. Go for that. Now, Wobbin. Increase! Freeze and burn! burn. Gotta try hard sometimes. Freeze them! Awesome With a pom pom freeze technique. Uh, Only two got frozen. Melt them! Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. So much damage being done here. I just start healing as soon as possible. Ooh, wish I am as soon as. You have the worst luck running into me. Okay, here we go. You need shield. Time for a detailed overhaul. Hmm. Go from middle again. Someone, come on. Okay, this heal much. Good, you have high, you have half HP. There, when else you'll be good. I hope for an end to strike. It's okay. It's okay. I'm getting away and all, but that's okay. Okay, let's give the child the shield next. With me out here, how can we lose? Combat is a series of precise machinations. Attack me again. Oh, fine. Annoying. 
That does nothing. Okay, let's attack uh, the white one. Who are you seeing? Ha <laughs> ha! You can't do to the child! I prefer not calling Vulcan Lord than that piece of shit! You can't run! Just make a sweat. Which is kind of awkward if you ask me. Stay right there while I give you a present. Here we go. Burn! I hope for an end to strife in the world. No, I'm going down. So so we. You won't get away. So leave the child alone. And you want to see me go? It's like fuck. I'm sick. No, I fucked up. Middle. You can't run. Go for the white. My turn. Okay, who's the shield? Here we go. With me out here, how can we lose? Time for a detailed overhaul. Bun. Come one, come all. Okay, Robin. Do your thing. Sing. Tonight. So tonight. The stars echo because of me. No more time. Okay, attack. Middle. You have the worst luck running into me. Okay, uh, you know, let's attack because this, this is not gonna hurt to attack, Watch anyways. This. And then those two go get burned. The one middle. Please. You won't get away. Ooh, double down. Nice. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this off. Please. Perhaps you still don't understand. But Moon never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Nice, I'll bring it down. Hey, look, though, almost dead. Phase one down, now phase two for them. What the hell are they doing? Oh, you think that'll hurt us? Nah, -uh. we're still standing. You can't run. You think that should hurt? Nah, oh, -uh. we're still breathing. Oh, they're trying, they're trying to go around us this time. Uh oh. Okay, uh, you need to shield more much. Right there while I give you a present. Shield down. Commencing research. Okay, let's heal yourself. And heal everyone. To travel far away. <laughs> For a tough case like yours, we're gonna try them all. So you guys are going down. Middle one. Try that again. Gonna break one of your shields. You can't run. Oh good, I didn't do alt again. The great one is me, not you! Okay, don't do any heal, please. Don't do any heal, please. Never mind, the healer's down! Shit! They're really going on this already. Oh no! Bobbin is going down. Please, hot the healer, hot the healer! Mm, what is going on? 
on! What is going on? She is gonna die! Oh, the way doesn't attack. Now you're awake. Oh, ho, ho, my god, they got, they got. Ooh. Okay, dude, you attack me? I might have to do my uh, attack already, which I'm gonna do right now. I don't trust this. I don't trust this. I gotta freeze him now. Because I need a song to heal the Wobbin! Combat is a series of precise Shit. machinations. It's not good. One at a time. Oh, what's your boost? The hell? Uh oh. Wobbin, please leave. Please survive. Please survive. Please survive. Try that again. To sing? Nice. Soul shall tonight. Just sing. Just sing. Just sing. Oh my god, the healer, healer. Even more, it's just going down! Oh, that is bad! That is bad. Okay, you need to shoot now this time. Stay right there while I give you a present! You need to shoot this time! Time for a detailed overhaul. Uh, who's going down? Down has been attacking, I'm gonna go with that one. It was getting targeted. That's not good. Mm, I don't like this! Unless they hit the child first, then yeah, I can heal everyone! Don't go for the child! Good, good, good. Don't go for the child. Thanks for hurting much, dumbass. You have the worst luck running into me. With me out I mean, here, how can we lose? If he who wakes up, that's good. Nope, she's pain. She's screaming like, ah! Oh my god, this is so bad. This is so bad! I can heal everyone! Yay! Okay, that's good. To heal everyone. <laughs> For a tough case like yours, we're gonna try them all! Go. <laughs> good. <sighs> Woo! Okay. Abel's doing good. We got shields, that's good. I need to attack slowly and carefully while I'm doing this. You're locking up Himiko because she has full HP now. Kind of. We're still gonna breathe. Can you not try to wet us again? Didn't do much because we have shields. Oh, okay. Ouch. What are you seeing too? Aha! Resistance to singing! It's not gonna work on me. Stay right there while I give you a present! Who do I attack? The middle of the light goes all fire. I usually do this, but healing has been next, so that's prioritizing. Okay, freeze and burn! Two foes. You still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. That was beautiful. Okay, you lived, thankfully. I think I could have healed my. I could heal the child first, but that's completely fine. Wouldn't matter which one, actually. I'm going to the middle. Affected. Uh oh. You can't run. Uh oh. Okay, Himiko just needs again. it now. Himiko needs it now. Ooh. Just being patient. 
Just be patient. You have the worst luck with me out here. here. How can we lose? Oh, that's ain't good. Oh, hey, look. You about to lose it. You won't get away. Hey, hey, double it. Let's go. Hey. Quiet down. You won't get away. Double again. Oh, look at that. It's a delay defense wise. Now's time for something savory. Yeah, fuck it, defense. My turn. Okay, let's heal everyone. <laughs> For a tough case like yours, Good! Mm, awesome. Oh my goodness, we were like... We were about to die, one of them! Especially the senior! I can't shoot anyone. That sucked. I mean... Order's about to commence. I don't care about order! You know what I want? Destroy you! I want to destroy. <laughs> Let's back up. We're fine. You can't kill us. You can't run. Uh -uh. Uh, I think something bit me. Yes, it did beat you. Oh, not the senior. Okay, let's heal. Oh, watch. Thanks a lot. Nah, -uh. we are now immune. Well, kind of. You have the worst luck running into me. I'm immune, bitch. Stay right there while I give you a present. Oh, that's you. What? Oh, the first time. Someone, come on. I hope for an end to Time for the ride. Go for singing. Sing! Tonight, the stars echo because of me. No more time. Okay. Uh, uh, who to attack first? I'm going for the right one. Everyone strike one by one. Go for the left. And then you go to the You go for the burn. And then you start to freeze and burn them. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. It's like, we got this! Gotta beat his ass! Hell yeah! Perhaps you still don't understand. Burn! You already know the conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. One is frozen. Try that again. She's too busy singing. Don't attack her. Are we okay? Okay, we're fine. Your music sucks. Say. You're about to lose it, one of you guys. Okay, only the healer. Why you attack the senior? Don't you attack the senior like With that? Me out here? How can we lose? Okay. At least I know that helps. There's uh, uh. one, that's okay. You won't get away. My chance. Oh yes it is. Okay, let's heal. Let's heal. Heal it's everyone. <laughs> For a tough case like yours, we're gonna try them all. <laughs> Thanks a lot. There we go. Look up to healing factors. Fit, You're done. You won't get away. Pick that one. Here we go! Bitch. You won't get away. 
<laughs> nice. They're about to die. They're all about to die. Well, we're, we're getting, we're getting there. You have the worst luck, Reddit. Smack that one. Time for a detailed overhaul. Run, run, run! I mean, I'm much. I mean, here we go. Oh, why? Coming through. Well, they're about to die anyway, so they'll they finish. Was that an X mic? Oh shit! My world. Oh, look at me! If you attack the see no, the second time, seriously? Wake up, you shit! Okay, now the use of standing. Someone, come on. Not finish him. Finish him. Fuck this. Burn! Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. You're done. Aha! Finish up with the blast. Woo! Beat the ass. I already know your decision. Again. I now permit you to gaze into the sun. Creepy. Uh, what? You see that, guys? What for that boss? Oh my god! Then you break the live enemy, so toughness again to the shield. Because the shield can be taken down if you have the eyes. And the shield effect was in the mouth down shield can do. Oh, so if I break these down, I would fall like, Brother, why are you doing this? What is your problem, Oni Chan? No, you gotta take your brother. You can't run. No. Combat is a series of precise hmm. recognition. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. That's bigger. You know what? Let's do it. Gonna break your cock. It's in the middle. Wah, yeah, yeah. In the middle. We don't need a shield right now, but I could attack you, but I need to attack these guys too. They're like music in our ears. Let's see. What the power of clocks? Hmm, it has three times the shield. Oh boy. Oh wow, they're mostly attacking the middle one. Like, brother, stop! Uh, I think something bit me. He's literally about to kill the child! Neither side could tolerate discord. What the fuck? They took out my healer. Okay, I might have to change teams. I might have to change teams. Ooh, I might have to actually because the shields. We lost a healer. I mean, if I'm actually beating without the healer, then that's fine. Attacking your own sister. No, wake up, sister. Uh oh. Hey, woke up. Oh, wow, you're not letting us breathe. We got a shield. Sing. 
just sing. The stars echo because of me. Okay. Um, I could talk for those guys, but ooh, my yeah, my switch teams. If my teammate dies, if my teammate dies, then damn. What can I do about it? Okay, you let's do this. Triple it down with the fire. Perhaps you still don't understand. Burn. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Ooh, we just broke down everything. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> okay. I freeze your teammates. Walk this without God. Huh? He looks so confused. <laughs> like, what the fuck happened? I freeze your teammates, idiot. You can't and Robin is about to die because you're dumbass. Oh, even much too. Ooh, this is not good. Now, give me your shield. You have the worst luck running into me. Watch this. Now we do this. Try that again. May song bring us victory. Okay, you attack your brother again. Quiet now. You can't run. Trying to pick the shield, huh? Enjoy eternal peace. Oh no. He's so good at us now. March, you're about to die. No, not your old sister. You're not your old sister. March is dead. And you're going to kill Himiko with that one move, aren't you? Yeah, watch. Look at them taking down. Take her down. Just kidding. Yeah, time to switch. Okay, so far we're doing okay with this time with Cl with Calvis. Check his name, right? Okay. Now I'm gonna shield my. Watch. You go shield yourself. You're hurting the child again? None of my watch. From your dream. Beautiful. Bond! Okay. Let's do your threes and two and ones. Broken we'll shield. Our own melody. Yeah, let's go. Hey, my own dance. Let's go. That's the harmony. Gotta try hard <laughs> Very sassy of you. Freeze them all. Also, I had to fight the entire of those three boss again. That was annoying. I'm gonna bring you all. Just watch. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. I'm breaking your shield. You just one phrase. Try that again. Gonna break your entire shield. And what's coming next? Go bad times. Do your shields again. Preparing for collection. Excuse me, coming through. At least all this damage you steal. Uh, I mean, I would have, I would have got Kafka, but mm. we need heal on my team. Ooh. Who to attack? Uh, well, you obviously, because they're frozen. What are those gods? Like, bitch! I'm trying to melt me or something? That's what it looks like. We're doing a lot of damage, not gonna lie in that fight. Oh, you're talking to the shield person mostly. Mistaken move, if you ask me.
What you gonna do now? Oh, not this one. Marge lives. Ooh. Oh god. Belly! Thank you I saved that! Okay, heal everyone. Here's a drug! Again! We're doing good. Oh good, I gotta do, go do all that. Freeze that march! So like, motherfucker, are you trying to kill me? Just got my shield pussy? You should focus on the healer, not just me. You're fine, dude. You better go down anyways. You won't get away. That's right. Yeah, give it to us. Uh who is she? You don't mind. Making a sacrifice for that. Oh wait, hit this one. You can't run. I got shield doublet. Oh, I got shields. Okay, we're doing good so far. No, you gotta attack again. Oh, local book to shoot now, an idiot. Aim for your cock. Uh, I was right, back to times three. Nah. -uh. You're like, wait a minute, how are you still standing? I just say this K-pop music to make me live. Do I freeze? Oh, I do freeze like two, three of them. That's good, that's good, that's good. Everyone, hey, you guess what? Like yeah, protein. Let's play our own melody. Go ahead. The show He's like JoJo posing, but he does this. That's kind of hilarious. As a harmony user. Time for a detailed overhaul. I actually like that. Oh, you know, I can't do my E yet. One at a time. Noisy. Okay, thank you. Don't kill second March. March needs the shield. I'm just gonna need it. Not gonna land that fight. Yeah, one. This is about this food. Okay, I hit yours, and you free. I mean, melt them. Melt. Yeah, they can't sing once I destroy those defense mechanism. Is it much? It's the power of tuning. Don't let the song distract you. Just pretend it's dubstep, nightcore, or any fan made. You can't run. Oh damn! You're trying. You're trying to kill us now. It's you're done. Turn. There you go. We got time to melt. Okay, you do need a shield. Right there, will I give you a present? You're annoying. Mm -mm. Gonna freeze you all again. Including you. Can I freeze the boss fight? This one looks big. Let's see if, if I could freeze the boss fight. If not, that'd be hilarious. He's probably too big to get frozen, so that's probably the reason why I can't do it. You can't run. I'm not the child. Who are we doing that to? No! March! Oh my god, March, you see you fucking see right now. Okay, yeah, let's heal everyone too. Okay, even though we are completely fine, I'm being safe and sorry just in case. Here's a drug again! How are you making that? Um, powers? With powers? Is that what you call it? Um, okay. 
Nah, this is where our shoot got broken down, and this is where we do our thing now. Um, attack you. Attacking the main one, that's in the middle. We're doing okay. Aha, she'll do that. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm going for the middle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Take out that one. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, I can do shield. That sucks. I mean, it did the Mimico. Oh, no. Never mind. Who are you attacking? Okay, not much. Much could have been probably dead. Fuck your melody! Oh, look at this! Is humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. There we go. We got shields. Took his shields. Hey, look at that. I could do. Oh, what about the? Oh no, I can't do it. Okay, what are these four could destroy? Let's play our own melody. Show Go ahead, dance a while. Look at the good ball. Give us. What does this do, anyways? Does this help? I think it does. I believe it does. Time for something Thanks a lot. There you go. Uh, try that again. You know we do got a shield. Combat is a series of precise machinations. Go for these three. Noisy. Hey, look at that! Double it, double it! Try hard sometimes. Yes, fuck your noise! Fuck that noise! You're done! I mean, I could have win this the first time if I didn't. If I have Chris the first, if I have Callus the first time, then yeah, I could have won the first time. To who? Nah. She's like nah. -uh. You're about to take the lead. You're about to lose your thing. Try that again. Okay, the shields we got though. We are coming. Sing together? Nah, -uh, man. Look at that. You call that singing? Not happening. Great team. Deep breaths. De I mean, I'm pressing three bags then. Heal everyone. Heal everyone. Yeah, we got it. We got this. Himiko. Oh, I would strike. Uh, I'm gonna save it. Noisy. I'm at least a frozen. Most of them. You have the worst luck running into me. Right there. Beautiful. Now we are going to save her. To be his ass. The child better not. I'm gonna feed all again. Just watch. Try hard Freeze again! No, not again! Well, too bad. I'm gonna freeze you. Whether you're lagging or not. Okay, only one falls down? Okay, that wouldn't matter. We'll be okay. Try that again. Nuh uh. Only two. Wait, what? Never mind. I guess it wouldn't matter if. Still the same one. Okay, middle. Is this the first that low? Okay. That's fine. Who needs it? Watch. Who are you attacking? You're going after March mostly. What's the big deal for that? 
You won't get away. Ooh, beautiful. We got this. Everyone got shielded out. Alright, uh palace. There we go. Oh, you don't me kill her. Trying to attack the main character is a mistake. Ooh, if they attack like all three of us, the main three, it'll be a big mistake. Never mind that. Okay, let's do this. The son of harmony. The coins are coming down like we are the next adventuring. So his hat, so his hat does is belongs to him. I'm not gonna lie on that part. Oh, well, I'm gonna swing at the middle one, so I could heal the main guy. Press four, and then press two and one. Let's take this again. Freeze them. Here we go. You go ahead. Finish him off. Star falls up. They're done. They're done. Aha! You're fucked. The time has come. Wait, what? Creation will be reborn from the remains of the gods. Oh. What? Oh. Hey, you made him wet! Radiant spirit. Hey! I wasn't expecting him to be healed! Show no mercy! I didn't expect him to keep on! What the hell? Oh shit! Did we woken up? Oh, I wasn't expecting Jin Young to come here too! Yes. Well, are you all right? Can you hear me? Do you remember your name? Uh, uh, didn't I shoot the sun out the fucking sky? Uh, kind of. It was General Ching Yuan who helped us shoot it down. In any case, since you remember what happened just now, well, that's put my mind at ease. I was hugging like we're back! Yay! <laughs> what happened while I was out? Story. Uh, simply put, Don Hung used the Jade Abacus of Allying Oath when we were in the middle of a fierce battle and summoned the general to help us just in time. And then we returned to reality. Look, this is your room. Everyone else has also returned from the dreamscape. Himeko and the rest are at the lobby discussing matters with the general. And now that you're awake, we should tell the crew that you're all right. Come with me. <gasps> oh, <laughs> not going good. to come chat with me. Sleepy head. What? That voice. Is that Black Swan? Okay, I think Ealing is fine, so I'm gonna switch back to my normal team, so hold up a sec. Ugh, Black Swan is over here. Hey, where are you going? Hold on! Some woman. Well, Black Swan wants to see me first. Hey, we meet again, Sleepy head. What's Miss Black Swan doing here? Nothing, Miss March. I noticed he was awake and wanted to check to see how he was doing. Though the strike from the general was timely, its destruction was also immense. When emanators collide, ordinary people inevitably suffer. But luckily for them, the dreamscape is my home turf. Thankfully, I managed to get everyone out before the harmonious choir collapsed. Oh, so that's what happened! Uh, thank you, Miss Black Swan! Don't mention it. After all, I wouldn't want to see such precious memories vanish. You're heading to see your friends, aren't you? Would it bother you if I walked with you for a short while? Of no. course not! But... You're not planning on doing something like last time, are you? <laughs> Why would you think that? I've never harbored any ill intentions. 
Well, not when you were around, anyway. Himeko hmm. and Mr. Yang are probably still busy. Let's go look for Don Hung first! I'm sure. That door's not opened! What's the big deal? Is this like one of the missing chests I'm looking for? Okay, look at them down there. <gasps> oh my god, Boot Hill's still here! Look, he's still talking to that cowboy. Wait, March way you met him? Oh, I guess he did away before I did. Okay. Uh, Alright. So Alright, let's talk to them. You're awake. How do you feel? Well, fork me. Fuck me! Must be that Stellaron they were talking about. Yes, just say fuck. You can't even see it. Uh, fuck, huh? I myself prefer spooning. <laughs> Allow me to introduce him to you. This is Boot Hill, a galaxy ranger. During our pursuit of a certain person, we crossed paths and just so happened to uncover a shocking plot being concocted by Mr. Sunday, which is why we sought you out. To help the Astral Express save the world together. No need for thanks. The Galaxy Ranger's principle is correct every injustice one sees. That's how you lot of this Yen Zhou put it, right, Don Hu? Uh, more or less. Wait, hold on a sec. This is the first time I'm hearing about this certain person. Who are you chasing? And why would that lead you to the Express? <laughs> Uh, good question. <laughs> it's, uh, uh... Who was it again? Uh, Don Hung. Do you remember? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, man. You're looking kind of sus. <laughs> oh my god. Why are we being among us? No, that ain't it. I just can't seem to recall. <sighs> Weird. My neurochip hasn't registered any malfunctions. It... Hmm. I can't seem to remember either. It's not Akawan? Uh, what's going on? <sighs> Thick. Forget about it. If it slipped all our minds, reckon that person was just a minor scoundrel. Unimportant. Ain't gonna stop us from piecing together the story anyhow. Yes. When the dust settles, I'll just think of a way to recall it in the memory zone. Everyone, let's hurry up and look for Miss Himiko, shall we? He's now a minor star on Panacone, and the entire hotel's concerned about his well-being. You're right. Let's head to the lobby then. I mean, are we in the lobby already? Okay, um, the lobby's actually out there. The general! With the general. Yes, the eye. Didn't speak. Okay, let's go. <laughs> That's all right. In these times of conflict, for the sake of utmost safety. It is only right that the Alliance steps forward to mediate on behalf of the Astral Express. We must not allow you to take unnecessary risks. Furthermore, despite the IPC's eagerness for success, it prioritizes peace above all. And the family, trapped though it may be, professes a desire for harmony. The Alliance has always won people over with reason. I firmly believe both parties can indeed put aside their differences and come to a peaceful agreement. The General possesses a deep understanding of the greater good. With the Sienjo Alliance mediating, peace for Pentagoni is within reach. <laughs> you flatter me. But ultimately, it's been all down to the Express. Without your efforts, this sweet dream paradise would have been claimed by the last remnants of order before there was even a shot at peace. Well, would you look at that? Here comes the big hero. The main character! <laughs> Let me guess, you were thinking about me again? <laughs> if it isn't the galactic baseballer, a hero with unparalleled insight. Are you okay? I heard you couldn't wake up. Are you feeling unwell? Uh, don't worry, Mr. Yang. There is nothing wrong with him. He practically burned through a lifetime's worth of jokes on the way here. What about you, Mr. Yang? I heard that even Miss Robin wasn't spared. And that guy locked you both up. <sighs> it's a long story. But at least Mr. Sunday took it easy on us. He used an ability called tuning to connect our consciousnesses with his. 
In other words, he imprisoned us within his consciousness. Thanks to General Jing Yuan's destruction of the Harmonious Choir, we were able to escape. Uh, he used that tuning on us too! Does that mean that we were almost imprisoned as well? I can confidently say now, he was truly after a fair fight with us. Had he wanted, he could have easily taken us down without so much as lifting a finger. Speaking of the Oak family head, where is he now? It's complicated, but in a nutshell, he's now the former Oak family head. The IPC has named him the key figure in the family's Penacony split, citing a threat to cosmic peace. He must represent the family and answer for the unrest caused. His trial is set to take place at Pier Point. The family quickly labeled him and the remnants of the Order as enemies, declaring the turmoil an internal rebellion. This move effectively barred the IPC from intervening in family affairs on both moral and rational grounds. Everyone really has their own agenda, after all. Then, what's going to happen to Miss Robin? She and Sunday won't be able to deny their involvement in the Charmony Festival. They're siblings, after all. <sighs> Why the sigh, General? I can only say that this incident is an unexpected mess for the girl. The Alliance will try to persuade the family to consider this matter carefully during mediation. It's time, everyone. The IPC's key members and I have agreed to consult one another before the upcoming negotiation. Do any of you wish to sit in? Given the General's invitation and the matter's significance to the universe, the crew will naturally accept. However, if the IPC has any reservation... Why, of course you're welcome. They've mentioned that your team is a trusted ally of the IPC in Pentagoning, so there's no reason not to welcome you. Besides, if there can be reliable observers from the Astral Express present, discussions will go more smoothly. So, what do you all think? <laughs> well then, we shall oblige. I'm kind of allergic to those types of situations. I think I'll just head back to my room and start packing. Not to worry. Himiko and I won't take care of things. I'm afraid I'll also have to return to the Express first. The Conductor is worried about us. It's best I go and explain the situation. Thank you. What about you, hmm? Will you join Welton me? Or have you got other plans? Hmm. Uh, wait, why am I skipping but I have to? <laughs> Uh, okay. I had to help Miss Marge. I mean, Marge, to pack her suitcase. What? I can pack it myself, you know. But, oh, they're heavy, aren't they? <laughs> if that's the case, our galactic baseballer can join us. Although I'm not too sure of the reason, the representatives from the IPC have insisted on his presence. Allow me to lead the way. Follow me, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The negotiation will commence at the hotel lobby. Everyone, please, follow me. Oh, down there. Got it. Let's go. Now. Mr. Adventuring <gasps> and Miss Topaz are here, too. He's still alive. That's good. That's good. What's that over there? The Intelligentsia Guild's Dr. Ratio. This assembly is quite something. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, Adventuring. I... Okay, I'm going to live after what happened. Hey, jeez. It's been a while. My Astral Express friends, I would also extend my sincere thanks to you, General of the Lafu. The presence of everyone here assures that the talks will likely reach a conclusion that satisfies all sides. Oh? Looks like everyone has come with expectations. Care to share? Of course. Topaz, if you please. Sure. Leave it to me. In summary, that's good news. After much deliberation from the Strategic Investment Department's Council, the absolute majority of members have agreed to the following resolutions. In light of long-term considerations for interastral peace, and by authority of Pierpoint HQ, the Strategic Investment Department, on behalf of the Interastral Peace Corporation, will permanently relinquish its claim on Penacony sovereignty and offer unconditional support of the family's rebuilding efforts on Penacony. Uh. Hmm. Now that's something. Hmm. Um. Um. Does that mean eventually took a hit for nothing? 
Well, if that's what it takes to bring peace to the entire universe, it's a price I'll gladly pay. Hmm, Has I mean... the IPC finished sharing all its thoughts? Then it's our turn. The Guild, much like the Genius Society, has taken a keen interest in the recent calamity in Penicone. Ultimately, both parties have agreed to a comprehensive collaboration, offering technical support for the reconstruction of Penicone. The floor is yours for the finer points, Mr. Skrulum. Enlighten us, please. Organic life's unrelenting search to understand the realm of inner spirituality is something I both admire and envy. Inorganic life has no mechanism to evoke dreams. But when my mechanical impulses are activated, my inspiration circuits will start to operate, and I will enter a state defined as imagination. Every time, within the realm of imagination, there emerges a fire from the shadows. It is warm, bright. I frequently ponder this flame might represent the essence of intelligence. A cluster of inspiration ignited by high temperatures. The future direction of the universe may well lie within it. Alas, they are nothing but projections of my thought system to me. Desired, but unattainable. But after learning of Penicone's accomplishments, I have come to realize that the flame is not beyond my grasp. After deliberations with my partners, we have decided to defer the progress of the Simulated Universe project, and instead assist the Intelligentsia Guild as technological consultants in the research of the Dreamscape and Memory Zone, so that these assets may be better used to serve humanity. Not only that, we've also established contact with the Garden of Recollection through the IPC, and they've pledged their support for our research endeavors. I'm truly happy for the Dream Chasers on Penicone. The cosmos's brightest and, let's admit, dimmer intellects are now at their service. Hmm. Yay, it's a big W for everyone! But, uh, <laughs> Never mind. At the end of the day, this is a positive outcome. What was it, Mr. No everyone insisted that he be there. It heartens me to learn that everyone is willing to put aside their differences for Penicone's plight. I trust that everyone will surely reach consensus in the upcoming negotiation. Looks like Penicone's future is decided. I'm wondering, is there anything else the crew is concerned about? Peace is our greatest wish. Beyond that, we desire nothing else. <laughs> well, that's good. Now that everyone's minds are at ease, I shall take my leave. You may now depart with peace of mind. The Alliance will deal with all subsequent procedures. Sometime later. If that's the case, it appears that we have nothing else to worry about on Penicone. Looks like it's time for us to embark on a new voyage. Sounds good to me. You two head back to the Express first. I'll pick up March and deal with the checkout procedure. Oh, also, Miss Black Swan. You have a matter to discuss with me, yes? Mm -hmm. Nothing escapes your attention, Miss Navigator. You've been with us this whole time, huh? In any case, he and I will be waiting for you and March on the Express. Let's go. Our time on Penicone has come to a fruitful end. Dom. Penicone's journey ends here. Uh, keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> I guess it was pretty fruitful. Oh man. Oh man. Guess we're leaving. Let's go back to our train. The navigation meeting is about to start. We're all waiting for you. Is Booty a little when did the express become so lively? Yeah, when? That's kind of okay, what's going on? Ahem. Looks like everyone's present. Let the navigation meeting commence then! There's a meeting to decide our next stop? <laughs> How are we doing this? By show of hands. Hold your horses, cowboy. It's for those to decide. Hmm. Both heal. What's your you still heal? <laughs> I'm just catching a lift. Don't sweat it. Allow me to explain. 
Mr. Boothill and Miss Black Swan submitted a request to temporarily travel with the Express for their own personal reasons. As you all may know, the Astral Express never declines any passenger whose heart yearns oh, that's for nice. the stars. Therefore, they will be traveling with us for a while until they reach their destinations. Whoa, the Express is going to be much livelier now. But the cowboy, nice. But Miss Black Swan, you better not use your memo keeper abilities to pull any pranks. <laughs> Understood, Miss March. Pranks? I promise you, you'll never see me in your room while you're taking a break. Uh, don't! You're freaking me out! Ah, so you see her getting naked while changing clothes. Alright, alright! Now that everyone's fed everyone, we can continue our navigation meeting. First, right. Pom Pom wishes to thank everyone. If it weren't for you all unearthing the truth about Pentaconi, Pom Pom would have never known where Mikhail and the rest had gone. What they had to go through was regrettable, but I reckon they all fulfilled their wishes. And it was thanks to all of you. Thank you, everyone. Now then, we come to the crux of this navigation meeting. We must decide on the Express's next stop. Let me introduce our current options. The first choice is from Himiko. The oceanic planet of Lushaka. What? A planet composed entirely of water. Mostly the water, interesting. Races reside there. Of course, it's also the home planet of the venerable, nameless Mikhail. The second choice is the agate world Melustanin, suggested by Welt. It's famed as one of the initial sites of the Stellaron disaster, and the place where the beauty Idrilla ascended. Today, it's celebrated as a planet of undying allure. The third choice is Edo Star, a planet nestled within a vast ion storm region, currently under assault by the Antimatter Legion. However, the distress signals from there have recently ceased, prompting the IPC's wish for us to check in on the situation. The last choice, courtesy of Black Swan, is the glass belt Petravia, a massive belt of asteroids that was turned to glass by Damn, the Damn, we're going to different planets, Zephyr. okay. These days, it's apparently known to house one of the branches of the Morning Actors Troupe. Ooh, so many options. I'm seeing stars already. Next up, everyone will select the destination that they wish to visit. And then, we'll put it to a vote. Alright. Damn, there's so many! Mmm, there's so many! Ocean sounds interesting. The, that one is the either star in the glass built Petralia. Now, I'm thinking we should go for the second one, because the other three could be like everything else, so let's pick the second one. This trip to Panacone has allowed me to see another side of the Stellaron disaster. In terms of symbolism, the state of the dreamscape bears a striking resemblance to the agate world. Visiting it might deepen our understanding of the Stellaron. Hmm, that makes sense. If that's the case, I vote for the agate world too. Personally, think the situation on Edo Star might be more urgent. As nameless, should we not extend a helping hand? March is right. I could have picked that one too. Though the fact that the distress signals have ceased means we're probably too late. But I still think we should investigate the situation there. Three votes for the Agate World, two for Edo Star. Looks like we have a winner. Next stop, the Agate World, Melustanin. Then this navigation meeting is adjourned. I'll go check the warp jump coordinates. Everyone can catch up on some rest in the meantime. When it's time to make the jump, Pom Pom will make an announcement. Hmm, there's still some time before the jump. What should I do? Ooh, Mashoi. <laughs> How about a chat? Over here. Why are you giggling? We are you asked to have sex with me? Um, actually, Firefly asked first, so you're too late. I think I gotta pick with March and Dayhan Sen in the first place. But I don't think it'll matter because in the end, the game developers are gonna end up picking where we go next ultimately, unless they decided to create different planets in the next update, that would be pretty interesting. So let's start with Dang Hun and then March. For some reason, I'm suddenly stricken by the feeling that we haven't crossed paths in quite some time. Hmm. Hmm. It has indeed been a while. Hmm. Perhaps the joy of reuniting after a long time can also be considered just another part of the trailblaze. This time you must debug with us when we reach our destination. <laughs> Got it. 
Like this how wow, you missed all the fun that happened, dude. Much. Please let this trip be uneventful. Please let this trip be uneventful. Please let this trip be uneventful. Please let this trip be eventful. <laughs> What's with you and always copying the way I talk? <laughs> because we're being funny. <sighs> the last couple of trailblazing expeditions have been downright terrifying. It's about time we had some fun, cozy, and cute adventures for a change. Come on, start praying with me. Oh, please let this trip be uneventful. Please let this trip be uneventful. Please let this trip be uneventful. Um. Oh, I can talk to Booth Hill and Mr. Will. Okay, we'll see. Ugh, Mr. Yang, where are you? Are you sitting down? I'll sit next to you and have a chat with you. <laughs> You're fast becoming an excellent trailblazer. It's an honor to be able to watch you grow. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm super duper awesome. Yes, yes, you are. I've known many warriors in my time, and only a few achieve the kind of growth you have. Back home, where I'm from, you'd be rated, well, at least an S tier. It's not been easy. Just like Hong Kong Park does, they do that. You've earned some downtime. I'm looking forward to seeing how you'll perform on our next journey. Oh, yes. Okay, Michael? I mean, I'll come to you next. Hold up, and let me talk to Boot Hill. Hey, hey, buddy, cowboy, yeah, hee haw. Yes, Astral Express sure is comfy. But I got one tiny problem with it. How come there ain't no potent drinks on this ride? I can live without malt juice. At least stock something else. Like that white gem. Calm in his dirt and not too pricey. Hmm. Ugh. No way! I was supposed to only weigh 12 plus! You can't use that 12 years of age rule against a mighty ranger like me! <laughs> <laughs> All these years out in the wild, and now I'm bunking in luxury. Gotta say, it's quite the treat. How do you eat with a buttered body? Here me call! Time to speak to you! Come to think of it, <laughs> this trip to Panacone was the first time we trailblazed together, wasn't it? Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, I wish we could travel these like, together again someday. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll have plenty of time to spend together on the Express. So there'll definitely be more chances for adventures like this. Turn in early today. You've really been pushing yourself hard recently. If you don't take this chance to recharge, it could lead to long-term problems. It seems fine when you're young, but it's a different story as you age. Oh yes, that's true. Oh, I black swan. It's like, what took you so long? Jeez, I'm sorry. I'm talking to everyone. What do you expect, madam? Oh, you're here. Seeing your reflection among the stars in the porthole. <laughs> Wait, what about Akawan? It really does seem somewhat surreal. How about it? This journey of beautiful dreams. Was it to your liking? Hmm, let's see, you got different answers. Hmm. Uh, it can't let me wanting more, you know. That tinge of regret I sense. Oh, these are the kinds of lasting memories I cherish. So, how about you hand that small parting gift back to me? I'm quite eager to have it back. Oh, that? Hmm. Oh? Hmm. I I wasn't the one who booked it. Hmm. Never mind. I just stumbled upon a particularly fascinating spot in your memory. Before I explain, I would like to apologize to you. This farewell gift I gave you isn't really a compass from the memory zone, but merely an empty light cone. Remember when we entered the hotel in the dreamscape for the first time? And I procured a few trinkets from your companions. Their functions are similar. This way, I can always be attuned to your location, ready to assist immediately if you encounter any threats. But this is not its most intrinsic function. Light cones are slices of light used to encapsulate solidified phenomena. This empty light cone is the same. It can etch your memories in their most vivid form. And then, allow me to admire and manipulate them, turning them into unique mementos. All the world is born from the power of mind and soul. 
And that power is memory. To prevent ourselves from being forgotten by the world, we must make the world remember us. Or use our memories to recreate it. Life, seemingly vast, offers but a scant collection of impactful memories. Some joyful, some sorrowful, some light, some heavy. But you are different. Memory is a reflection of the future. Within that reflection, I see your unparalleled worth. You have the power to craft memories that can captivate the world. Your memory can illuminate the universe's future path. And that memory will be as scintillating as the star clusters you see in this portal. Hmm. Uh, you're making me blush. <laughs> How adorable. But do you know the deeper meaning behind it? I'm looking at your boobas. But Firefly will kick my ass. The reason is simple. In this grandiose and ostentatious dream of the families, only you personally experienced the entire course. Hmm. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> Patience, my friend. I will reveal the answer to you, but that time is not now. Turn around and take a look at your friends. Okay. Every one of them is reveling at the arrival of their next destination, all filled with hopes and expectations of their own present and future. Revealing everything at this moment would be a bit of a buzzkill, wouldn't it? I'm looking for an opportune time, a time when you're totally at ease. Perhaps when the night grows hazy, and you're about to drift off would be the most opportune. How about one fine night? I will prepare the candles, aromatics, and even a cushy couch to create a cozy dreamland for you. And then I will tell you the answer in the form of a little bedtime story to lull you to sleep. Ahem. Hi. Hello. What are you Attention all passengers. The express is about to make the jump. Please be seated and hold on! <laughs> it looks like we're finally about to set off. There are countless gleaming memories out there waiting for us. Why don't we just leave it at that? Ah, that's right. As a small token of compensation for playing that little trick on you with the empty light cone, I will gift you with some words. They hold great significance to me. Life is akin to a winding labyrinth where memories serve as our sole companions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll remember these words dearly, won't you? In the year 2158 okay, of the Amber Era, the first year of the new epoch, the universe resumed its intended trajectory the kindling of conspiracy smoldered in Panacone, the land of the dreams. Failing to erupt into a blaze, it instead flickered briefly on Klopoth's anvil, before vanishing in the blink of an eye. Okay. The dead and those fated like to die losing to it now. remain in their eternal slumber while the living find solace in deep sleep. All clamored in a cacophony of silence and then went about their own ways. The cosmos emanated a vitality characteristic of a new era, all for the modest price of a brother and sister's mild grief. Babies are born as stars extinguish, the silver rail unfolds. The story of the Astral Express comes to a close, yet it also embarks anew. Time marches forward, heralding the arrival of a new chapter in the history of trailblazing expeditions. Hmm, the end. Now that plan story end. Okay, style well. Wait! 
To me, look, this is like the end of the game. What the hell? What? <laughs> Wait, what is this? Other? No, I'm not playing with this. Look at this. Firefly Sam, Black Swan as Black Swan. Wait, no, 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 no. This is not 100% the end of the game. We, I, no, there's no way. Am I just gonna sit and wait? I might as well just sit and wait. May this journey lead us start wood. Um. Countless shooting stars streak the sky tonight. If you can pick the right one, it will carry your wish to thousands of distant worlds. You're feeling very relaxed now, aren't you? Oh, yes. So, then, it's time to tell you a little bedtime story. Well, let's start with a conclusion. The crew was defeated in the battle against Sunday. Everyone in Panacone failed, and no one survived. Oh, but okay. Don't panic. The truth... As horrifying as it may be, it is not yet irreversible. There's still a glimmer of hope, and that's why I'm here. Next, I'll use this empty light comb that carries all your memories to relive everything that happened before. And when this story reaches its end, I'm sure someone as clever as you will notice that. There's a major flaw in the story you have experienced. Yet, within that flaw lies a glimmer of hope. Are you ready for it? Do you remember everything? When the clock turned yeah, back, the one. express I mean, started Aquan, warp my name. Jump, sending you to a strange dream. You were bewildered back then. I remember this. And then a galaxy ranger named Acheron showed you a way out. When you arrived at the Reverie Hotel, you met the doorman Misha and had a confrontation with a Venturine, an IPC representative. Thankfully, Acheron appeared again and helped you. After that, you saved Firefly and explored Panacone together. My love, my life. During the tour, you ran into Sparkle disguised as Sampo and accidentally entered a child's dream. There, I rescued both of you from death, but Firefly didn't return to reality. Not yet. She realized the truth and tried to involve you in her plan, but that resulted in an accidental death. Even more unsettling, you soon encountered another murder. The two cases of death prompted you to investigate the truth behind the sweet dream. Well, I'm still alive. Despite your efforts to gather information about the two victims, you didn't make progress. This is like a recap. Progress. Like a recap. But you did learn about the Watchmaker from Gallagher. Meanwhile, Aventurine was secretly carrying out his scheme, in which you were one of the pawns. In the midst of a fierce battle, Acheron revealed her true identity as an emanator of the Nihility and unsheathed her sword. That strike foiled Aventurine's plan and opened a passage between the Sweet Dream and the original Memory Zone. Upon your arrival at Dreamflux Reef, you learned the truth that death was actually dormancy. Like that thing I feel. As well as the truth about the dreamscape the Stellaron, and the bellboy, Misha. You split up with Sunday and Robin, looking for a way to seal the Stellaron. However, it turned out that Sunday yeah, and we the found out later on had their own hidden agenda. And you had to engage in an ultimate duel on the stage of the Charmony Festival. Finally, the story reached its conclusion. You emerged victorious, with the Trailblaze triumphing over the Order, and Panacone embracing a bright and peaceful future. This marks the end of the thrilling journey in Panacone. I'm sure you've already noticed something unusual, haven't you? The major flaw, which contradicts all the known information, hides in this story. Hmm. Let's see, we got different. Hmm. Mm, the fake deaths of Firefly and Robin. Well, although the fake deaths of those two ladies don't align with our initial assumptions, 
This fact itself doesn't contradict the information we have so far. I'll go ahead and eliminate that incorrect answer for you. So, what is the fatal variable? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, not that one, not that one. Death. Okay, Aquans, Anshi, Soso, and revealed the power of the nutility. That's my second guess. Are you suggesting that the sleeping and shapeless never bestows its gaze upon anyone, and thus no one can truly possess the power of the nihility? That's a very astute guess. But unfortunately, okay, that was a good guess, though. Acheron did progress further down the path of the nihility. Her unwavering belief in liberating the world from the grasp of paths surpasses the capabilities of ordinary humans. I'll discard that incorrect answer for you. Take your time and think it through. What is the fatal variable? Hmm. Let's see. Death is the disguise of democracy. It is true that Gallagher is a history. Okay, the time chart didn't help me. But he didn't lie in this matter. In addition, death and dormancy do arise from the same concept, don't they? This is not the fatal variable in your adventure. Take your time and think it through. Okay, it's Misha. That's my guess. My first encounter with Misha at the hotel. Hmm. Little Misha. Or should I call him the Watchmaker? He's only a segment of memory in a dream bubble, but his ambition for the trailblaze led him to leave the bubble and embark on a grand adventure in Panacone. Well, Misha is a rather special memory zone meme, and he was granted power by the trailblaze. There's still one thing that he shouldn't be able to do. A life born in the memory zone could never manifest in reality. So, why did he appear in the Reverie Hotel in reality? The answer is simple. He is the one fatal variable that contradicts all our known information. This means that you, who wholeheartedly believe in this memory, are still trapped in the dreamscape at this very moment. Wake up, sleepyhead. Break free from this eternal dream and return to the real world. We'll find our answers there. The train is about to make the jump. Five, four, Chicken. three, Okay, we're back here again for the second time. Okay, well, what's going on now? This way, darling. Okay. Oh, I think I should switch teams again. Not another one. Thank you so much, Black Swan. <laughs> Finally. I can breathe a sigh of relief. Hmm. The stage of you is strong with the scene. I understand you must be confused, and we'll do our best to shed light on the situation. However, before that, it's essential to know that this place is the rift between dream and reality. A place reserved only for those who have awakened from Enna's dream. Do you remember Sunday's ambitious plan? He intended to harness the power of the Stellaron, the collective will of over 100,000 Oak family members, and the desires of everyone in Penacone to usurp the harmony and restore the order. Unfortunately, it didn't stop there. From the early days of our journey into Asdana, we were already affected by the Stellaron. That strange dreamscape where we met. Maybe it was a sign that your thoughts were beginning to drift away. Hmm. Uh, I know back- No! Um... Did I fall asleep on the dispess? I don't think the goal of the Order was to put everyone into a deep sleep. 
Quite the contrary. They used the Stellaron to catalyze the leakage of Astana's Memoria into the material world, allowing the dreamscape to blend with reality. And that included a lot of Memoria from the Beyond the Sky Choir. As time came and went, the dreams eventually became indistinguishable from reality, and reality became an illusion. People think they are awake, but their spirits have long since stepped into the Temple of Order. This is what makes Enna's dream so powerful. In this paradise governed by the Order, everyone indulges in their delightful dreams and lives happily ever after. I believe what you experienced in the sweet dream, except for that flaw, was real. Only in this way could you reach the destination, lifting the crisis in Penacony and embarking on your next trailblazing expedition. If it wasn't for Acheron's plan, we might have been trapped in this dream forever. Fortunately, while the path of the Order governs all things, it can't affect the Nihility. I came to realize this when the Dream Master tried to expel me at any cost. This is also why you felt a sense of peculiarity when traveling with her. Well, I'm not as fortunate as she is. Even if I'm a memo keeper, I was still influenced by the power of the Order and fell into hallucination. However, thanks to your memories, now we still have a chance to turn the tide. For mortals, even if they possess the great power of a path, they can't create a flawless world like gods do. That's why there was a flaw in your dream. In other words, once you have realized the world is not real, You'll have a chance to break free from the dream. The flaw in your dream lies within Misha, who could have never appeared in reality. That's when true. I turned the pages of your memories, I realized that I was in an illusion too. Hmm. Okay. Didn't expect it all comes back to Misha. Now Sunday has usurped the power of the Harmonious Choir through the Charmony Festival. As Donna has thus fallen into Anna's dream, transforming everyone equally into the notes of the Eon. Failure doesn't mean weakness. Only the strong can gather the will to resist the Order and try to break free. We still have a chance, though. To make it happen, please, Black Swan, guide us to those with a strong will. All right, please come with me. These people are... Lost dreams? They're the ones who accept Enna's dream and indulge in their happy illusions. We have no means to wake them up now. Not even your clockwork will do the trick. Damn. However, there are still other things we can do. Let's keep going. I ain't getting there, actually. Oh, wait, I'm getting there. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.